Hello everyone and welcome to another NM Botronics tutorial. My name is Stacy and today we're going to be setting up our Raspberry Pi as a web server. Now I'm using this in a project where I've got sensors. This is a project from my garden where I have sensors connected to an Arduino and the Arduino communicates to the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi takes that information it gets from the Arduino, uploads it to a database and then I uh, use this in a web page or uh, that's what I'm doing anyway use it in a web page and uh, so I will take you through all those but in this video we're just going to be setting up the Raspberry Pi as a web server uh, so what we're going to do we're going to open up our terminal here now I have already this is a fresh install of Raspbian and I did uh, the updates and the upgrade I did uh, I installed XRDP and I've installed the Arduino R IDE program. I've installed Python and Python Serial for the communication between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. I will leave a link for uh, everything that I've done so far. I've gotten another video. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. But, so here now, oh, to do our web server, we're going to do uh, sudo bash. Now, this this lets us. Uh, it's like administrator. This way, we don't have to keep saying sudo before everything that we type in. So now we're going to uh, oh, install Apache, and we're going to install a few things at once. So it's going to take a, quite a while. What we're going to do? I'm going to stop the video while it's installing and then I'll restart it and we'll install something else alright so we're going to go apt uh, get and now install uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let me see Apache Apache 2 I'm going to do a space and then Apache 2 again and then a hyphen doc and then we're going to do Apache again, our Apache 2, and another hyphen, and then util, utils. Now we're going to hit enter, and this will install all those. This will install Apache 2, Apache 2 dock, and Apache 2 utilities. Here we're going to do a Y for yes to install. Now some of these are going to take quite a while, so I'm going to pause or stop the video and we will pick up it after it's installed and I'll show you the next batch that we're going to install. Hi everyone, welcome back. After I installed the MySQL server and MySQL client, I rebooted the Pi and now I'm opening up a web browser and we're going to test this to see if, if our uh, the server works. So we're just going to type in localhost and here we go it works. This is a default web page for the server. The web server software is running but no content has been added yet. That just means that we have the default web pages that are up. We've added no HTML or PHP pages so far. Now we're going to test our MySQL database to see if we can connect. So we're going to go sudo uh, mysql, we're going to do a space, we're going to do a hyphen u for user, and it's going to be root hyphen p for password, and that's going to be testing, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we are inside the database, using the database from the, the uh, terminal here. Alright, we're going to get out of this. Exit. Okay. And we're going to keep going with the installation. Now, we want to install PHP My Admin so we can access the database from a web page. So, sudo apt get install PHP My Admin and hit enter and this will install this for us and we're probably going to pause the video 
and come back after this is installed okay first batch has been installed and now we're going to install the second batch we go apt whoops you see here apt get install okay now we're going to go lib apache 2 hyphen mod hyphen php 5 uh, let's see what else we're going to have php 5 another space and we're going to go php p e a r another space php 5 hyphen x cache all right let me see if i got this all right all right we're going to hit enter and we will install this batch all right yes okay and we will be back in a minute when all this has been installed okay now that uh, MyS, our PHP 5 MySQL has been installed. Now we're going to install uh, the MySQL server and client. So apt, again, apt, get, install MySQL server. And we're going to do a space in MySQL uh, client. Whoops, I E N T. And we should have to do a Y here in a minute for yes to install. Here we go, Y, enter. And we'll pause this again and come back when this is installed. Okay, so now while we were installing the MySQL server and client, uh, we have a configured to set up here. I set a password for our root user for the database. So what am I going to, I'll just go um, testing, one, two, three, four, five. We'll hit enter, repeat the password, testing, one, two, three, four, five. Hit enter again. Okay, now it's going to uh, configure these packages here, install them, and we'll be back in another minute. All right, we're back. While this was installing, we have some things to configure here. Uh, please choose the web server. That should be automatically configured to run PHP My Admin. Uh, as you can see, the red dot is over Apache 2. I'm going to hit my space bar. Let me see. Hit my space bar so that that is marked. And... I'm going to hit tab, go over to OK. Make sure that Apache 2 has the asterisk in it before you hit OK. Alright, now this is going to configure this. And we might have some more setting up to do in here. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've done this. And but I will pause this again so you don't have to wait while this installs. Okay, and here we get another prompt while we're installing the PHP My Admin page. And we're going to say yes here. Hit enter. Please provide a password for administrative account with which this package should be created in a MySQL database. Uh, password for databases administrator user. We're going to go testing 12345. Hit enter. We're going to be asked again, testing, one, two, three, four, five, and I think we get asked again, so testing, one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. Now, this might be the last thing that we had to set up, so I'll pause this and we'll come back after this is done. All right, now that we've installed the PHP My Admin, now we're going to go in and we're going to edit the Apache 2 config file. So we're going to go sudo, let's see, sudo nano 
and yeah, no. So we can edit this file and E T C um doo -doo 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 -doo. Apache two hyphen another slash. We're gonna do Apache two again. Dot C O N F. Now here we're in the config file. I'm gonna hold down CTRL, the control button, and I'm going to hit the V, and this will take us down until we hit the bottom of the page. Much easier and faster to get here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include I'm gonna do another include, capital I, N C L U D E. And what we're gonna include is uh, in this directory etc slash php my admin and uh, in there we're going to do the apache 2 dot conf let's see include CPHP my admin Apache 2 dot CONF. Alright, and we're gonna hold control while we hit X. And then we're gonna hit Y for yes to save it. And enter. Okay, now that we've edited that file and we've hooked that up, now we're gonna restart this uh, Apache server. So we're gonna go sudo etc INIT dot D and Apache two restart. And we're gonna watch and make sure that everything oh it failed. One two seven eight Apache two config not open file. Okay. So let's go back in and edit that. That config file again, control V all the way to the bottom. And we're gonna see what I did wrong. ETC PHP my admin PHP my admin slash Apache two. Oh there it is. It's gonna be just Apache. Dot C O N F. Okay, and then the control X, Y, enter. And now we're gonna go back and do the restart. And now this time it should restart fine. Okay. And there we go. Now that is it for setting up our web server. Now we can go back, we can go in, uh, let me see, internet, we'll pull up another another browser. And we're going to go into that PHP my admin and see where you can create your databases and this and that. Uh, let's see. Go localhost and the slash. And then we're going to go PHP my admin. And this should bring up our, our page here where we can create databases and this and that. Okay, and to log in, you just use your root as user, and I put testing, one, two, three, four, five, and hit enter, and this should get us right in. Let me see the PHP. Cannot start session without errors. Please check errors given to PHP and or web server log. Try this web browser. I think I had problems with this before, and it, it might have been the web browser I was using. I'm not sure. I'm going to try a different web browser here. Okay, and here we're going to go localhost, and we're going to do the PHP my admin again. Let me see PHP my admin. And let's see if it comes up now. 
comes up. Hopefully we can log in again. Alright, root. And we'll go to testing. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see. Let's save. I don't need to save the password. But here we go. Yes, it was just it was a browser that we were using. Okay. And in here you can look at your databases, you can set up your databases, whatever. Um in the next video I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, take information that's being sent from the Arduino to the Raspberry Pi capture that data on the Raspberry Pi and then upload it to a database that you create here uh, with this PHP my admin alright well thanks for watching please like subscribe and I will be back with another video here shortly thanks